thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video will provide an overview of LiftMaster's slide gate operator, models IHSL24UL and INSL24UL, being mounted to the MRIN riser mount accessory. Special note, it is suggested that the MRIN be a two-person lift and move. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained, professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the supplied instruction sheet. To locate a trained, professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. The MRIN riser mount kit is compatible with models IHSL24UL, INSL24UL, and previous post mount models SL580 and SL585. We will demonstrate two mounting options. One, pad mount. Two, standard post mount. For instructions on retrofitting to existing SL580, SL585 operators, consult the manual. The system includes mount riser stand, bracket mount, cover plates, spacer brackets for post mount application, U-bolts and hardware for post mount application, and four sets of fasteners. Special install note, the riser mount can be used in conjunction with a standard post mount please consult the INSL24UL and IHSL24UL installation owner's manual. Before we get started, we will prepare the operator. First, we need to create access holes for the conduit for power and control wiring. Either at your shop or at the job site, open the operator. Locate the access plates. There are two. Either can be used to route power or control wiring into the operator. The power wiring must be run through a separate conduit from the control wiring. Remove the plates and drill a hole that is appropriately sized for the conduit of your site application. Replace the plates onto the operator. Next, we need to remove the lower set of channel mounting supports from the operator. Remove the supports and replace the bolts in position. These will be used to secure the operator to the MRIN base. Option 1, Pad Mount Installation. We are starting with an existing concrete pad. You will need to pour a pad appropriate for your installation. Place the riser stand on the concrete pad in the appropriate position. Secure the riser stand to the concrete pad using four half-inch concrete anchors, not provided. Tighten the riser stand to the pad. Place the operator on top of the riser stand. Remove the back plate from the mounting base. Secure the operator to the mounting base using the included hardware. Tighten to 30 foot-pounds. Note, for regular maintenance, check the tightness of all mounting fasteners at least once every six months and re-tighten to recommended torque as needed. Once the operator has been mounted, finish installing by completing the wiring connections according to the instruction manual. Install the cover plates on the MRIN base. Option 2, Post Mount Installation. The operators come from the factory configured to mount to an inside the frame post mount dimension of 26 inches, 66 centimeters, outside to outside of posts. The frame comes slotted to accommodate posts sized from 24 and 1 8 inch, 61 centimeters, to 26 inches, 66 centimeters, outside to outside dimensions. Note, if you are replacing an SL580, 
and SL585. The frame will require use of the supplied spacer brackets to accommodate 24 and 1 8 inch post spacing. Our demonstration pad already has posts mounted. Place the riser stand on the posts. Secure the riser stand to the posts using supplied fasteners and U-bolts. Note that one set of the posts will mount on the inside of the riser stand and the second set of posts will mount outside of the riser stand outer plate. Tighten the riser stand to the posts. Place the operator on top of the riser stand. Remove the back plate from the mounting base. Secure the operator to the mounting base using the included hardware. Tighten to 30 foot-pounds. Note, for regular maintenance, check the tightness of all mounting fasteners at least once every six months and re-tighten to recommended torque as needed. Once the operator has been mounted, Finish installing by completing the wiring connections according to the instruction manual. Install the cover plates on the MRIN base. For more information, visit partner.liftmaster.com. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster.